Welcome to a quick introduction to TreeSize. TreeSize is a very helpful tool to find folders, files or even programs that clog up your storage or system drives. It's pretty obvious for a Call of Duty to have more than 200 gigabytes. finding that out is pretty straightforward and easy. However, if you have a lot of small files and folders you might easily lose track. TreeSize helps you to determine and display drive and folder sizes. You can download TreeSize from the official homepage from Jam Software. The link is also in the video description. You can choose between a free and pay version, obviously we chose the free one. The current version works with even older Windows versions like Vista. If you go back even further, you will also find separate versions of the program. You have two options for downloading, either a .exe that you can install or a portable zip archive. Either way, the functionality will be identical. After launching, you will be presented with a small window that enables you to scan folders or even complete drives, but only one after the other. After you've selected a directory, TreeSize will go right to work. It will scan all folders and subfolders and then display them in descending order, regarding size. You can always refresh the scan or cancel if it takes too long. I haven't noticed any too long scans yet, with the maximum being about 10 seconds. Obviously the write speed of your hard drive will be the determining factor. It's now up to you if you want to see either the file size or the percentage of the whole drive each folder takes up. I would stick to the size because the percentages are also shown on the right hand side. In case you want or need to, you can switch the units, meaning you can go back to megabytes or up to terabytes or even kilobytes. You can also choose to expand to a certain number of levels or fully expand. I would use the latter with caution since this will be a hell of a long list, at least in most scenarios. If you like, you can also print a report. It will print what you select in terms of order, size or percentage, units and so forth. The final feature worth mentioning is the tree map chart. If you're into tree maps, you will appreciate the displaying of your folders and or files in the form of rectangles adjusted for their relative sizes. According to the information that TreeSize generates for you, you can decide whether to copy some folders elsewhere or even find some lost files you already forgot about. So this was a quick introduction to TreeSize and its free version. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe to help the channel and we will see you in the next one. Full disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by anyone, we simply find TreeSize very helpful.